Welcome to Anno 1800, a game that it is a while since I last revisited on my channel, as is proven by all of the additional content, I content icons down here that uh, definitely wasn't here the last time that I played. They've made... Um, let's just say they've made a lot of changes to the game since back then, and uh, I've been playing the game uh, as a kind of a... I had to have a break from uh, Pathfinder, and um, I've been playing it kind of excessively. I think I have 120 hours or something in the game that I have here, and I also got all the way up to uh, the new uh, High Life content, which uh, I'm not sold on that DLC. Um, I mean, the, the 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 skyscrapers that you can build, they're no problem there they are excellent and it really adds a new perspective to the game in terms of you get a lot more population in a lot more condensed area as is to be expected from skyscrapers but it kind of feels like you're moving from the typical british uh, area into uh, more of a early 1900s united states kind of thing you get this new york feel uh, early 1900s rather than uh, Victorian England, which is mostly what I feel that the game represents. But um, it also adds some very complicated new uh, building chains, um, but that's, that's okay. That's not a problem at all. Uh, so we are going to play with uh, all of the DLCs. Um, well, Anarchist, I'm not going to play with Dr. Mercier, but uh, we're going to leave it on. Uh, Sunken Treasures, that is uh, Crown Falls. No idea if we're going to go to Cape Trelawney except for uh, the uh, scrap that we get there. Uh, Botanica, definitely will uh, a good addition, getting the botanical, botanical gardens. The Passage, I haven't played that in my uh, current save, but I'll leave it on. There are things up there that I definitely uh, want to look uh, look at. Seat of Power, of course we're going to have Seat of Power. Uh, Bright Harvest, it would be sheer folly not to have Sh Bright Harvest on. I mean, if you have Anno 1800 but you don't own any DLCs, spend your money. If there's one DLC you want to spend money on, Bright Harvest. Uh, everybody that I've watched who plays Anno says exactly that. You, uh, Bright Harvest c completely changes the game in such a way that it's just, uh, yeah, it, it is a, a must-have. We are going to play with Land of Lions, and uh, there are certain things in Land of Lions that I will be doing as well. Uh, Docklands, we are absolutely going to play with Docklands. I love Docklands. Uh, it might be a bit, uh, I, I mean, some people do not enjoy how Docklands um, kind of annuls some of the uh, building chains, but uh, I really like Docklands, so, and it also gives a great bonus to uh, attract attractivity, or, uh, or the attractiveness of your uh, city. Uh, tourist season, this one did not convince me at all, I haven't played much with it at all. Uh, you can build hotels and you get some new um, uh, consumer good chains and so forth, but um, we'll see if we uh, play with it. There are, however, some decorations in tourist season that I definitely want to uh, to have. Uh, High Life, of course, we are going to have it. Uh, by the time that I'm ready, the, time, the kind of player that I am in, I know I, I play slow and steady. Very slow, very steady. Um, so by the time we get to High Life, uh, I might even have ended this series for all I know, because I don't know how long I'm going to play this series. Uh, but hopefully I'll get out uh, a decent amount of episodes. Uh, then we have the new Seeds of Change. I haven't played with this one either. Uh, there are some interesting things you can do with Seeds of Change. Uh, you can get... 1,000 influence if you want, if you just dedicate an island to one of those uh, haciendas. Haciendas, I think it is haciendas. Um, and you just build a bunch of uh, 
shrines or tiny churches and uh, put in a, a tr um, is it an attraction modifier? I don't remember. Uh, Empire of the Skies and uh, New World Rising. They haven't been released yet. They are part of Season Pass 4. Yeah, yeah enough talking though. Uh, new game. Sandbox. Less guidance, yes. Uh, this is always fun, trying to find a portrait. I kind of tend to like to play as the Admiral. Uh, some of the portraits are... Well... I haven't locked some of them. I would like to unlock this one, but that requires me to finish the uh, Crown Falls DLC. Uh, I also like that guy. But I have no idea who he is. Emperor Katima. I have completed parts of the Land of Lions, but I still have these two left. Uh, and I also have these two left. The Purphorian. I'm ne definitely not going to play as the Purphorian. I mean, we could do Nate. Or uh, Archibald. Rather, Fartibald as he is lovingly called by me. He does have troubles with gas. Dr. Mercier, no. Kasparov. We could always do Margaret. I don't even remember her name. <laughs> this one is uh, interesting. Let's do uh, Gasparov so that I can see the difference between uh, this one and uh, the other save that I'm on. Uh, there is a... Uh... I usually play with this because of the uh, Wyverns. Uh, we are going to use the Wyverns as names. But let's, uh, let's have that one. Uh, I mean, for obvious reasons. Uh, we're not going to be purple. I think we are going to be... Either that one. Let's be black. All of the uh, DLC enabled. Uh, Marie Fontaine. No, I don't think so. Um, caps lock on. We could just be Caledon. Uh, we'll keep these ones on. And we'll go to custom settings. And I already have a very specific uh, setting in mind here. This is the seed that I'm playing with. Uh, the way that I found this seed is using the Anno Seed Finder, which is a nifty little Python uh, script utility. Uh, you can find it on uh, GitHub. You need to install Python, and it, it you don't need to know Python, but it uh, it is um, it does require a little bit of technical skills. Uh, so this is a seed that generates islands in the old world and in Crown Falls with no rivers and uh, a decent amount of, uh, of islands. As for our uh, difficulty, I'm going to go with uh, basically normal difficulty here. So large, mainly large, normal, plenty, plenty. And we're going to use the island arc map type. As for characters, we're going to have uh, Bente Jorgensen and Princess Ching. Factum, fac, factum, no, faction customization. We're going to have all the traders and both of the pirates on. Features, we are going to go with high income, uh, no inactive upkeep, full construction cost refunds, building relocation on, trading post restocks common, city incidents easy, quest frequency common, influence high, and skyscraper upkeep low. As for starting conditions, we are going to start with our flagship, no harbor, large starting capital and revealed map and i'm not going to add any victory conditions uh, so let's jump right on in
Now, I should say that I will be doing a bit of stuff off camera because there is a lot of repetitive stuff going on when you play Anno. So, um, but I will always warn you when I do things off camera. So, but let's just set sail and slow down. And we want to head down to this island. Now, both the AIs start closer to that island. But I'm so usually the they made this ship possible. veer off and pick different island than the one that I head towards because they are the easy. Yeah, see, she turned around and Benta isn't. She doesn't know what to do at all. Now, the only thing that is a little bit annoying here is that uh, Fartibald is a bit far away from where I am. Uh, Anne. She's down here, so that's fine. Okay. We are here. Mm. Yeah, I think that works as a good spot for our harbor. We can always move it around if we don't like to have it there anyways. Our flagship will send it right over to... Uh, I'll call him Archibald. Uh, right over to Archibald. Hello, Benta. Bye-bye, Benta. So she did want to settle here, did she? A competitor raised a settlement. Ching settled down here. For oil springs. I expect Benta will settle on... Probably this island here. She should settle on that one. Due to the hops. Because I'm not going to let them uh, settle any islands. Uh, Roscoff. No, this will be... Uh... I think we'll go with Wivtopia. see here. We have a little cliff thing going on here. To build a road there, just to denominate where the cliff is. I think we can set up the timber industry here. Oh, that is a very nice oil field. One of them, that was a little bit off, but the other should be able to be uh, caught up by one. Okay, uh, yeah, I think we are going to set up timber industry up here, so let's do that. And go a couple of steps out from there. Something like that. And this is a rather nice large area here. Can I? Yes, I can. I do that. Okay. Uh, I want to move that oil spring, but... And we can do that later on with uh, the help of uh, the Research Institute. Yeah, she settled on the wrong island. She shouldn't have settled there. But that's not my problem. I'm going to take the road here instead, actually. And remove this. I want to leave this area down here for industry. And I also need to leave room for a railroad. Okay. Now let's start blueprinting some housing. And I'm going to be following um, a pattern. Um, let me just double check that I get this correctly. Um, can I move out of the window, please? Thank you. I'm going to follow a pattern. 10 by 10 pattern. Takarazuka. Yeah. Takarazuka has basically taught me most of the uh, stuff that I uh, have learned about the game. Uh, he's a great 
Anno player. You can find him on YouTube. I will link to him in the description. Uh, I have nothing but good things to say about uh, his skills at this game. And I really have learned a lot from him. I think we want to do room for railroad there as well. Um, but we are also going to need some... Because the oil is going to come down. I'll probably have the oil harbor on this side because that faces the new world. And we do want to have parallel lines, but I think we could do the parallel lines there. We're going to have a power plant somewhere down here, and there's also going to be a power plant in here somewhere. Uh, but this area up here is also very suitable for some industries, so we'll get to that when the time comes. Let's start laying out some uh, some residences. The 10 by 10 pattern is... Um, It's a way of, uh, of building your city instead of following those guides that uh, the, uh, the layouts that you can find on the, uh, the wiki. Uh, it just gives you a more dynamic feel to, uh, to how your city looks. Uh, and this is a good example of something that I'm going to uh, be doing a lot of things off camera for. Uh, because eventually, as we level up our uh, citizens, we are going to want to uh, move houses around, and that is extremely tedious. I literally spent four hours in my uh, off-camera play session just moving houses around. Can do other things with this as well. I could do this if I wanted to have. Uh, say I wanted to have. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, so we do this and this and now three like that. And now I have a neat little place here for a park. And you can of course leave some uh, buildings out if you like that. Should that. Fort here. Flagship awaiting instructions. Spy the timber. All in Her Majesty's name. Yes. Uh, and another good thing with this way is that you can just uh, blueprint it and uh, copy paste it if you desire. What about on here? Ten, ten, ten. Ooh. Stay here. On. Oh. And then we want to have another one. Like so. Ah, you can just rotate it around to make it look a little bit different on each side. Uh, for now, we are going to... Uh, I'm just going to blueprint. So I know... Oh, I don't want to blueprint that one. We can do that one over here. Then let's just... This... Rotate it 90 degrees and do that. Okay, now we need to place a city center in here somewhere, or rather a marketplace. We should also have room for a pub. Take note of the dark blue roads. Because the lighter blue roads gets less access. So we want to put down marketplace you can see down here it just reaches the corner house down there I think I'm going to place it there because it reaches the house in the corner there and we are going to just need to build these 
lights up, so you I thought a new milestone. They're going to want a pub fairly soon. But we don't even have enough to uh, aye, aye. to build uh, fisheries. Speed things up. Stairsman. No, 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 no. You stay where you are. Uh, these are free to build. Good. Here, uh, I think I'm gonna move these one over just for the sake of symmetry here. I don't think I can build this currently, so let's buy the last timber. Flagship awaiting Archibald, uh, back down here. About the noise, if you can hear that. What brings you here, Master? Some flagship ready for orders. People picking up the garbage. Backyard. Yeah. Garbage cans. They uh they Build some fisheries. I was going to move this way with that. I don't think we need much fish for the time being. Yeah, so this is new. You no longer need to use a calculator as an external tool or something. You could just pay attention to this. So we are producing 13 wood per minute. Isn't entirely accurate, I think, but uh, we are also using 13 per minute. I don't think that is entirely accurate either. We're also producing two fish per minute, and we're using less than one. We need more farm hands. It isn't accurate because of the lack of workforce. Where am I going to place the pub? I'm thinking one here and one down there. If I do that and that, I remove these and I remove these. But let's build in one direction towards one of these pubs. I also need to leave place for a fire station or two. One there. Actually there. So something like that. you on the whole car. Go away. What is this? Yeah, th that's better. 16 per minute. Uh, each of these produce uh, one per 15 seconds, so a new milestone. That should be four per minute, and these also you spend 15 seconds, which is also... Okay, now we can produce schnapps, and we can also produce work clothes. Aye, aye. These guys have quests for us. I'm going to leave those for the time being. Well, they might be photography quests. Are you committed to serve once? Yeah, there you go. 
Take a photo of Sir Archibald's lighthouse. Yes. You have shown Jin integrity. Excellent. A tiny something to keep you going. We have doubled our friend. efforts. Okay, let's go and buy timber and then we will go back to Venta and see what she has for. Okay, the first thing they are going to require is work clothes. Uh, that is a definite must have before the schnapps. Um, I could build the, uh, the farms and stuff inside of the uh, village to make it look more natural, but I prefer to separate the industry and the city, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to build two... sheep farms. They are pretty nifty. And we can give them a uh, small warehouse as well. Okay, the, the lack of symmetry here annoys me. Let's do that then. And let's leave it to build up some wool for us before we build a couple of framework knitters. A ship has arrived. Buy this. I don't think I want to buy any items yet. Oh, that sail is very tempting. You know what? I'm going to spend 18,000 on that sail because that is too tough. Okay, Bento. What do you have for me? We are so lucky to have a visitor. I don't assume you guys want uh, trade rights. Trade is vital to opening cultural dialogues. I have to pay them for it, but that's fine. With such connections, may I meet you? You're positively positive. Spent a bit of money on that, but we're going to get that back from. Let's see, I want to turn off things and visitors and culture because things seem to. Say with trade, I don't need to see every time someone does a trade at our. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's just let things build up here. We do have enough workers that I can also uh, start a couple of uh, potato farms. I'm going to do these in a kind of fancy way currently, so that will do. While we wait for that to uh, build up, find her harbor, speed things up. My, that is very original. Bent to board. Dream of wide blue horizon. How I knew I could trust you. Thank you. Flagship awaiting instructions. Eli doesn't have any quests for us. Neither does Archibald. Oh, Madame Kahina has a quest. I have need of a fellow. Let me know when you've done the deed. Pick that up. Drop it off. Done. Let's, uh... Oh, we have a My resident quest as well. I shouldn't ask. We've all we have to find the stray for. dogs. That was simple. We'll gather and toast your elf. A bosun. Hmm. Not half bad. Can we build the pub yet? Can. These are extra extraordinarily cheap. 
think we have decent pub blast. coverage all over the city now. 100% perfect, 100%. Yep. Should also have enough wool. Yep, we do. Let's uh, build two framework knitters. I probably do not want to build them at the same... Um, Ah, uh, 99% is fine. I probably don't want to build them at the same um, warehouse. Because that poor warehouse is going to be overloaded if I do. Actually, let's build them down in the harbor area. That. Uh, we also have to build those fire stations because uh, with my luck, uh, everything's going to be put on. I don't need the other one. That's fine. Need one of them. And it's three forty-three. How is our production going? Quite okay. We probably can turn off one of the framework knitters. I mean, they don't you do. You can't keep it a secret from me. I'd be curious to know your methods. Sounded very festive. Flagship at your service. Having Anne all the way down here is nice, though, because it means we can postpone the inevitable. Uh, Request for a ceasefire for which she will require money. Quite a bit of it as well. Yeah, I think we can safely pause that down. one, that one, and that one. I do want to keep all the timber uh, going though. Does that reach all the way down there? Yeah, it reaches that road. Yes, it doesn't reach these. That is a bit annoying. These are going to have... It says 100%. Ah, uh, this one is 90%. It will be fixed as soon as we get to uh, clay and I can build proper roads. I might want to do something about it, actually. Let's... Uh... Why did I do that? We also need a road there. That should work. And we can do the same up here. I just wanted the houses there, to be honest. Why that didn't work? Okay, work clothes. Okay, there we go. Now I can uh, turn this one again? on again. And turn this one on again. And I also think we need more fish. Yeah, we are very close on the fish. Let's copy this and build another one. And drop off the timber. And head on over to uh, Archibald again. one thing that I want to do when it comes to the uh, islands, and that is to uh, ensure that the islands are named in such a way that I can find them, the most important one at the top, because I'm going to have several islands eventually, 
And when I do have several islands, I do want to be able to locate the island. So I might do something like A or uh, B, the main islands, uh, B for feeder islands. I don't know. Uh, but for now, we'll just go with Woodtopia. But they are alphabetically sorted when do the uh, the region and uh, the trade routes. So there is no quests around. We also need to monitor our. Yeah, we're not producing any schnapps at all. Uh, let's turn Wait, this I one on. We also need to schnapps distilleries. Now these are a fire hazard and an explosion hazard, so uh, to build two of them and a road like that. I want to have a fire station near there. That one is good enough. You can see here, none. That is exactly what we want to see. But they're not running currently. Part of the reason, but doing this and then building two of them inside like that, that increases risk of fire, so keep that in mind. To continue this road, just so that I know where the railroad is going to go. But I am going to need cross tracks or, or uh, Parallel tracks. Uh, the, the the railroads are a little bit weird uh, in the game when it comes to parallel tracks and stuff like that. Because even though you have two parallel tracks, it doesn't necessarily mean that it uses them. Um, it determines whether a parallel track is available when the other train is at such a location that it would make sense for the train to leave whatever station it is in to go to the parallel track. Now the reason for that makes sense because the train doesn't stop. So when a train is on the line, it just keeps going. So it makes sense that there is no kind of signaling or anything like that. It's it's a lot easier than that or simpler than that game here. So you need to, um, to keep that in mind when you build parallel tracks that they should be distanced in such a manner that it actually makes sense for the trains to... Uh, to use them. And we're back in the green on our balance. This one is overloaded. We can't upgrade it until we have workers and in addition to that we also need uh, I think bricks to upgrade. Uh, speaking of which, let's upgrade uh, some more uh, homes. Our ship should almost be at High Clarence Hall. Flagship at your service. Pick up everything. I'm not going to uh, look at the items because it's too tempting. Three f ah, we are. Ooh. And that one should be, but we are barely producing enough schnapps and workloads. But that is the optimal. You want the blue one to be close to the green one, uh, especially early game. Because that means you're going uh, positive in the balance. I think I need to move uh, things here. Let's see. If I build a small warehouse... 97%. I don't like 97%. Build a warehouse there can move this one to there and this one to there. I want that. Because this warehouse there is just getting overloaded with uh, all those parts trying to uh, unload to it all at once. See this one is overloaded as well. But just four buildings around it. 
What is the fire risk at now? None. Good. Very low. Yeah, I think that's a good start. Uh, we are making a profit and uh, that's basically what I want to do in this specific episode. I'm not doing any decoration as of yet. Uh, oh, I do need uh, a fire station uh, down here as well now. But I'll leave the, the spaces for decoration open for later so that I can decorate a bit. Uh, so move some houses around. But what I'll do now is that we'll wrap up the episode here and uh, I will uh, get us up to uh, to worker level. I would think I want to add another section of uh, houses just like this one uh, before I go to worker level. At least two more rows of uh, houses upwards this direction here. And I'll do that off camera because it involves a lot of waiting and stuff like that. And when we go into the worker level, uh, we'll uh, have a look at what's going on. Flagship awaiting instructions. The timber. Uh, I mean, I could do that, but I won't. But yeah, if you do have any uh, questions and or comments, then please do feel free to leave those in the comment section. I hope that you enjoyed the episode. I hope that you will enjoy this uh, this series as well. And for the first time in uh, history on my channel, I am going to remind you guys uh, that if you like the video, then please uh, consider leaving a like because YouTube algorithm thingy, that's the reason I'm mentioning it as per the uh, community poll thing that I put up. Let's Play series are not really doing that well on YouTube currently and I think that when it comes for, to uh, the algorithm the one thing that I'm pretty sure that matters is whether people actually click like on a video because I've even noticed it myself I do like to watch Let's Play series but the algorithm doesn't really recommend them to me anymore uh, I have to actively go and seek them out before I find them and then I watch the Let's Play series that I want to watch but I don't know YouTube shorts all those things that YouTube is uh, messing around with um, so to be more specific leave likes on on your favorite Let's Play series videos whether they be mine or other people's but that's it for now guys I hope to see you all in the next episode as well.